previously on the Hardcore Series. Done. Give me 100 drops. No, 99 drops. Okay, how much Runecraft XP we get? Oof! Oh, it hurts every time. Lamps, that is a 35, and that might be a prayer pot's 38 right on the dot. Beautiful. Boom, 376. That is just enough. Oh my god, yes. Massive shout out to Nick, Pab Zapper, Derpy, Cheng, um, Wild Chicky, and I think I forgot the last person that helped me out. But yes, I had one and a half hours to spare, and Derpy told me that he can carry my ass to a torso in less than two hours, and he actually did, together with all the others. For the first time ever on any account, Ever for me, Fighter Torso acquired. Boom! Fighter Torso on the hardcore. And now we can actually start doing Slayer. I think we're ready. I think there's nothing better at the moment. So, yeah. Uh, g guess I'll explain how it happened. Super stupid, I don't even have a clip off of it. A friend of mine asked if I could do a voiceover for her homework. So I opened my audacity over my client, spoke a couple lines, closed it again. And when I closed it, I was in Falador. So I re-logged, changed my name, I don't want people to see that my Trails RS account is dead. I don't know if I'm going to re-roll. Uh, I'm not sure. But, wait. Who's this? You guys really thought I was gonna let that set me back on this hardcore series. Well, you're mistaken. It took me approximately 30 minutes to reclaim my thoughts and start a new account straight off of Tutorial Island. And I'm on a mission because I want to bring this account back to its original state within a small month, because I still had one month before I ran out of clips for the next episode. No one can notice. This is the plot twist of the series. Let's jump into some quick commentary. I ended day one with these skills. I went to bed relatively early, woke up, and just started questing again. I tried speedrunning it as quick as possible, but I made one mistake. I didn't start my character as a female, which down the line costs you 3,000 GP, money that you really need at the start of an account. Did recruitment drive and dig side got my first herb lore levels, did more combat quests, and I was ready to do bone voyage and AFK my ass all the way back to the combat stats I had at the Ammonite Crabs. Day 6 I got my full graceful set, and I immediately went to the agility pyramid to get some starting cash. Which I really recommend for Iron Man because it also gave me about 60 agility. Day 7 and 8 I spent getting my mining level back to where it was, 62. Day 9 I trained up to Winter Todd, and I also got my Amulet of Magic T back. And then it was time to rush Winter Todd to 88 again. Here we are, we stranded on 212 total Winter Todd KC, and I'm pretty sure these are 210 crates. I've opened Two, which were cash and these two things, so I will put those into the tab. Okay, what am I hoping for? Uh, maybe a Tome of Fire. This time I won't trade it in on this account. <laughs> so here we go. That's the first Pyro piece. Alright, Pyromancer Garb. Not bad, not bad. That's a good start. Oh, Bruma Torch, second item. Oof, another Bruma Torch, not really what we need. Would love another Pyro piece. There we go, Pyromancer Hood. Oh, the gloves. All right, we're slowly getting the set. That's really nice. Another Bruma Torch. Okay. Here they are, 
the lost crates. I don't know if they'll fit in my inventory, but... Anything special? No, there it is. The total loot is 3.25 mil. I guess a couple of the items are in other tabs right now. Uh, a couple of the raw tuna will be in there. I think all of them. All of the raw tuna for sure. And 400k. Oh my god. We were on 6k before we did this. And I was expecting about 300k cash. This is amazing. This 400k is going to help us big time. Almost done with the account. We're almost back on the reroll. All right, we have the first heart clue on the account, on the rebuild account. Please don't make me go into the wilderness, especially with this new nightmare staff. It is absolutely insane. <clears throat> I'm going all the way. Uh, am I? Yeah, fuck it. I'm such an idiot. I shouldn't do this, but I've persisted now. This was the dumbest thing I've done so far on this account, for sure. That was so not worth it. Oh my god, multi-combat. Never doing that again. And then finally, after a small month, we're back. Oh shit. That was super quick. Look at that. I went from iron to dragon. <laughs> In 211 Cyclopses, that's disgusting. Exactly where we ended the previous episode. These were the stats, when we died. And this is the account now. Now for real, let's get into this episode. You guys didn't miss a thing. It is time to do Legends Quest, not only because I have a heart clue that requires me to go to the Karazi jungle, it's also the time of the account that I need the Legends cape and stuff like that, and I can go for my rune boots for Recipe for Disasters. So, the first actual big quest incoming. At the moment, we have 144 quest points, but I gotta check if I need anything more for Legends Quest. I need 56 magic and 45 herb lore. Now, we haven't done one small favor yet. I did it in the previous episode, but on this new account, I haven't done it yet, so I still have to do that. I also need 50 smithing, which I'll get in like a second. 50 thieving, and that is it. All right, let's get into it. Shiloh Village done. There we go, that's Shades of Morton done because I'm going for a quick detour at Barrows. Because I need that 56 magic for Family Crest and Legends Quest. Family Crest requires 59, but I can boost up from 56 with a Wizard's Mind Bomb. So, we're gonna try our first Barrows run. And I wanted to get the Shades of Morton quest for the minigame teleport. And that is the Lost Agility Pyramid I have to do for the cash I need for upgrading my Ibn's staff. There we go, boom, 275k, that is 250k to imbue the thing, and a little bit spare to run around with. I thought it was 250k. Yo, alright, that's good, I have 100k spare. That's really good, alright, let's get over to Barrows and do a kill. Okay, here we go. This is the gear. You all know I was gonna bring all this. Let's see. Let's get uh, destroyed by Darok. Oh, that was a good kill. Uh-oh. Shit, I just realized I forgot my range gear. Well, this is gonna be shit. And there goes the prayer. Let's see if I... Yeah, no. Never mind. I'm, I'm gonna need to keep prayer up because I don't have any gear. Yep, that was super aids. I, re I also just realized that I could have picked up a little bit of a green dehyde for Arams. That would have helped a little bit. And... <laughs> Now with this strength, this is not doing me any favors, but we're only going here for one trip, just to check. Just a little, a little damage check, and it's actually going pretty alright, even though I had to bank ones. We are drawing ever so close to the first boss, except for Winter Todd, on the account. And we did it, even with only the Swordfish, so that's really nice. First chest on the account, here it is. We have 84%, which is alright. Can we get something? Probably not. Oof, that's a lot of death runes. Oof, those chaos runes are big! Holy shit, I kind of want to do another run. I'm gonna buy a green DI, then I'm gonna do one more run. I have a full prayer pot still. This is way better. There we go. Oh my god, that was way too close! <laughs> but on that note, we will open our second chest, and I'm just hoping for a lot of chaos runes. Like last time, like 300, 200 chaos runes would be beautiful. 129, it's not great, but you know what? 
We're done with Barrows for a little bit. We have the Chaos Runes to train our magic probably up to 55 or something like that. So let us do that. Flashback to last episode. There we go. One small favor is completed. Now use those two lamps on Herblore. Before we went from 30 to 38, I think. But we're way higher Herblore. So we're 39 now. Boom. All the way up to 42. Because I need the thieving soon anyways for Legends Quest, I decided to do Iklarin's Little Helper. That is a lot of thieving XP, which should give me a level. There we go. I'm going to try and quest myself up to 45 and then do blackjacking, but I might have to... I guess pickpocket some monster farmers or do some Hosidious fruit stalls before I get that. I think I'm going to do rat catchers now. I don't know why, uh, but soon I am going to be doing a medium clue grind. Probably next week or the week after that, just because I want to. And because those ranger boots and all other clue items are really nice. So I don't want to be stuck on that rat catcher clue when I eventually get it. Plus, it also gives thieving XP, so might as well knock that out. I remember that quest not being as bad, but I could have been really lucky on my first run because I've only done it once. So let's see how frustrated I get. Alright, there we go. What? How? No! There's no- That that guy just did a fucking 180. This is not fair. Might actually be the moment- What? How? Mm. Cat! You're gonna ruin it! What? No! You can't see me! There's a wall right there! God. No, 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 no! Baby! That's it for the Ardon part. I've said it at one small favor, and I'll say it again at this quest. It is not that bad if you think this quest or one small favor are long, boring. I'll give you boring. If you think these are long and difficult quests, grow up. This quest wasn't that bad at all. I'm going to be doing the actual first risky between exclamation points quest. So I'm going to need prayer pots. My plan is to do contact which is a quest that has a lot of traps and stuff like that. It's in Sophonim. I've never actually done it, but I know a friend, a fellow hardcore, uh, I will not be naming names, <coughs> Jim's life, that has died during this quest by not keeping his prayer up. So I am going to be extremely careful. I've got my ring of life on, and I will also be making all the prayer pots I can, which will probably grant me another Herblore level. Might have overestimated that level getting. So we'll not be gaining the level, but we are 23 prayer pots richer. So that's that's pretty nice. Can you see that? What the fuck? Where'd that come from? Oh, oh shit. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh my fucking god, what the fuck is this quest? Contact done. That is 44 thieving, literally 55 XP from 45. Exactly what I wanted. And extra magic XP, because that's also what we need. There it is, boys. A 50 a thieving. Thank you very much. Okay, I decided to get my wood cutting up because I ripped at 72 wood cutting, I'm pretty sure. And because I have a little bit of downtime, I decided to just AFK some wood cutting. I got a Clue scroll elite nest, and last time we were stuck on an elite clue step that had a heraldic helmet, rune heraldic helmet. So let's see if we can actually do this one. Yes, I can. Um, I'll go do that in a second. See how far we get. Probably not that far, but... And now I'm at this part in the quest, so might as well just see where this elite takes us. Probably not going to be able to complete it, but this first step should be doable. Could also do this. Super random quest completion. <laughs> that is troll stronghold done. Now to do that type of one-eye stuff. All right, elite step number three. And Wildy! Oh, okay. Keep going. Four. I just, I'm expecting <laughs> such a disappointment in a second. Come on! How can I still do this? Oh, wait. That's Lunar Diplomacy. This is chest number three. Literally because I need a couple Chaos Runes uh, for this magic training for Family Crest and Legends Quest. So I might as well just do one more chest of Barrows. Just a lot of Chaos Runes, all I want. 122. It's not great. The very first Medium Clue Casket got this on the previous Lizard's task while we were training our magic for Family Crest. 1kc Ranger Boots could happen. Worst case scenario, a couple of Alkables. I'll be happy with that. I would have liked like an Adam and Plate body or something like that. Hey. Eyes of Gluffrey done because it gives 12,000 magic XP. And what I did not realize is that it also gives a crap load of room crafting XP. So give me that. Let's make that crystal saw. And then we're ready for family crest and then the legends quest. But first, second medium clue on the account. Can we get something beautiful? 
Amulet of Power, I'll take it. 14 Larwins and Amulet of Power, sure. Time to die, boys. It's over. I might actually die because I have no clue where I'm supposed to go. Made it out alive, boys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that is... Where is this guy? That is the Family Crest quest completed. Now, all we have to do is the Big Legends quest. Oh, my God. Again, this should have been way easier than I made it to be. I had to go back about four times again, exactly the same as I did with Regicide. We're kind of going for Lunar Diplomacy, so I'm guessing I'm going for Magic, which kind of feels like a waste. I kind of want to put it on Prayer or Hit Points, but there we go. That's almost 58 Magic and Legends Quest completed. I know I told you guys that I was planning on doing Barrows and Achievement Diaries and maybe getting that Black Mask. We only did one out of those three, but <laughs> Legends Quest is also a very big one. Next episode, we are focusing on getting those Barrows Gloves, we're getting as close to them as we can. And who knows what else we're going to do. Because I could be doing something completely different. Because on this account, I do whatever the fuck I want. See you guys next episode.